Hi, welcome. My name is Vincent. I'm from Malaysia Global Training Center. The topic for today will be on WDM principle. So the objectives for today training will be very much on describe the concepts and transmission modes and structure of WDM. And we'll be classifying different types and characteristics of fiber. And also we'll be outlining some key technologies of WDM system and also to list the technical specification for WDM system. So these are the things that we are going to look for the next few slides. Let's look at this slide. The first will be very much on WDM overview. Let's introduce to you the basic principle or why do we need WDM. So to increase capacity, this is the process to have more and huge capacity. So WDM is the best solution. As you remember, before it started with SDM, which is space, very much on space. And then we need to add more fiber and equipment and that actually increased a lot of costs. And then we gradually moved to TDM SDH environment where the maximum capacity that we could go for was only STM64. Again, this the cost is a lot and it's very much complicated. Because for now, as you know, the data usage is very much needed by all our clients. As the improvement of all the Ethernet services is coming in and all the 4G technology that has been introduced recently, we need huge capacity. So the solution for capacity expansion will be on WDM. This is very inexpensive and also it is quick and easy to measure. And this technology, WDM, very much matured technology and easy to use. So let's look at here. So beginning, whatever service that you are going to receive, it will be very much on a gray color car over here, as you can see over there. The moment it gets into the service, which is WDM fiber, basically your service become colored service. So this is where we actually change our service into WDM environment or in Lambda form. As you can see, there's a small petrol car over there. That car, it plays a role of actually checking all the services are transmitted properly and get to the other side correctly. So he will basically report, this petrol car over here, basically will report all the fault or any problems that we are facing during the transmission of that particular service, which is the Lambda. So the WDM concept is very much, we have different types of signal with specific wavelength are multiplexed into a fiber for transmission. So basically, as you can see, there are a lot of signals here from SDH signal or IP package or ATM cells are actually converted into different types of lambda. So as per the principle, we have C equals to F lambda, so in which all the lambdas are actually transformed into different wavelength and transmit out. So basically, the structure of WDM, as you can see, it has few components which are very, very important. The first one will be on OTU, which is optical transponder unit. And then we have MUX unit or DMUX unit. And in between, you can notice that there is amplifier. And we also have the OSC, which acts as the petrol car. So OTU is the place where your service is actually coming in. It can be any types of service. And all these services are actually changed or converted into lambda form and brought into the OM, which is your optical multiplexer. There all your services or all your lambdas are actually arranged and transmit out. As your service travel for a very, very long distance, as you realize that WDM is actually meant for a very long distance transmission where we need the service to be amplified. The reason was because as it travel, it loses a lot of energy. So this service has to be amplified so that it could be transmitted over a very, very long distance and arrive to the destination safely. And the function of this OSC is actually to detect, to check if the services are well sent. So let's look at here. This is the single fiber unidirectional transmission. So we have options here, where, whereas the OTU actually sends signal over the single fiber in which the unidirectional transmission is actually considered. So let's see here. All the signal are transmitted into one fiber and all are accumulated and max multiplex and then transmit over out. And there's another one which we call this as single fiber bidirectional, where we have two options. That is, the service comes from left to right or from right to left, as you can actually see from the graphical view. And we also have this environment which we call open system, in which our client gives us a gray or black color service which has no colored lambda. 
The moment it arrives to the OTU, these client signals are actually transformed into lambda form. So all the colored lambda that you are viewing now are actually transmitted all the way from one point to another point. This is open system where the client signal very much on SDH, Ethernet or any type of E1 service that is actually coming in. We also have another system we call integrated system in which our client automatically gives us the signal in the colored form. This is much more easier because we don't have to change anything and we translate or transmission will be very much transparent to just transfer from one point to another point. As you can see, these are the advantages of WDM. Relatively compared to WDM, it gives you the ultra-large capacity. And also the data transparency transmission, it means this data that we are transferring, we don't have to change anything or add any issues there. And this is meant for a very long hole transmission for a very, very long distance. And it's compatible with existing optical fiber. So what it means is, if you have current existing SDH fiber, that fiber can actually be used in the NGWDM environment. It also gives a very high performance to cost ratio. As you know that now we could transmit 80 lambdas and each lambda can be at 100 gig and this can be transmitted for within just one fiber. So that's where the high performance with cost effective ratio is there. So high networking, flexibility, economy and reliable. As you know, WDM is reliable as we can amplify signal at any point. We can also regenerate the signal at any point too. And this expression is much more smoother as just to replace our SDH equipment to WDM equipment. So let's see here, these are the two technologies that was available. The first one was CWDM and now we have dense WDM. So as you can see that they are now for WDM, we are actually using 80 lambdas and all these 80 lambdas can carry up to 100 giga. So in the summary, the basic concept and features of WDM, DWDM and CWDM has been explained. And we also have looked into what are the component structure that involve in this WDM environment. And this transmission and application modes of WDM system also been explained where we have unidirectional, bidirectional, open system or integrated system. Thank you very much for watching.